everyone, welcome to Kind of TV with your friendly neighborhood, Natasha. I am here hanging out with my director of Carmilla, Spencer Maybe. Hi. Hey. Hello, hey. Thanks for, Hi, Natasha, thank you for having me. No, oh, thanks for coming on the channel. I, I wanted to chat with you because you've been directing Carmilla for two damn years. And two damn years. We've never done an interview with you. And I, I, I want to, I want folks to know a little bit more about your, your process and you, because you're great. Thank you. Like a big brother to me. It's true, I was spitting in her hair earlier. Mm -hmm. Just like big brothers do. But I was wondering what attracted you to the project of Carmilla. There are a couple of things. I mean, Smoke Bomb attracted me to it. I loved the work that they were doing at the mm -hmm. time. And, uh, but really, like it was Jay and, and in particular Steph. I feel like it, it was this like, this nugget of genius that was yeah. like glowing inside her skull. She identified like really cool source material that uh, she found a, like an incredible writer to dig it out. I knew Jordan from before and Jordan's like fantastic. Something that's really important to me in anything that I'm working on is, is, a, is a connection with the audience and like making sure that you're making something that is gonna be meaningful. Yeah, you know, absolutely. That's meaningful to you but then also to your audience. And Steph is of the audience and really I felt like got the audience uh, and wanted to, wanted to do right by the audience. Yeah. So that, that was like a huge part of what attracted me to it. So how did your process change? Like when you were preparing to shoot Carmilla, was it really different? Was it really totally challenging? Totally different. Or? Yeah, I mean usually like if I'm approaching something, I'm looking at something, I'm thinking about, you know, like, oh, how do we want to tell this moment in the story? Like what are, where is the location, you know, where is this happening? What are the shots? Carmilla is like, okay, well that's the shot. So how do we, how do we, change what's in the shot mm -hmm. uh, with blocking, with lighting, with, uh, with movement. Um, and then how do, we, how do we change what's happening in the shot so that, that each beat doesn't feel like, oh, it's always this, but there's like comedy mixed in with, with drama yeah, mixed in with so action. Yeah, so everyone's standing in there. A little bit of camp and, and like, yeah, and a little bit of sexiness and some real feels. Yeah, real feels. The real feels. That should be the new tagline for Carmilla, just like Carmilla, real feels. I think part of what I really like about it and why I think you and Elise and everybody in it are so awesome is because, it's, I mean, it can be, it could be campy. It could be really like off the rails and just goofy and whatever, but like to be able to ground that in real human emotion mm -hmm. is what made it interesting to me and that you guys were capable of doing that, especially to turn it on a dime to go from cracking you know, like quirky kind of jokes and, and then to be like weeping in each other's arms the next minute. <laughs> we also wouldn't be able to do that though without your direction and, and it's really cool having you on the team. It, even though it's, it's a very female driven show and, and Smoke Bum is also like a very uh, female uh, driven company. So mm. what is it like being one of the only dudes on set? I like to be surrounded by people with different experiences and different voices because uh, I get creeped out when I feel like there's like a uh, I mean, an environment where there's only one perspective. Yeah. And there maybe was a moment in season one where I was like, when are they gonna realize that I'm a dude? Okay, so I wanted to test out just how well we know each other uh, by playing a game similar to the Newly Friends uh, YouTube challenge game, but I made questions that all sort of related to Carmilla. Which character from Carmilla would you most want to be stuck in the magical library with? <laughs> That's a great question. And I was gonna guess LaFontaine because I feel like you're smart and you'd wanna be with somebody smart who would be able to figure it out. I'm also gonna say LaFontaine for you. That is. What is, oh, it's a human. Oh. <laughs> Carmilla has a lot of bad habits that annoy Laura. What is one of your worst habits? Biting your nails. Yeah, close. I'm picking at my cuticles. I pick uh, at my fingers. I don't think you're ever gonna guess it. I'm never gonna guess no, it? No, you probably, you would guess it, but you probably would never guess it. What does that mean? You would guess it, but you'd never <laughs> guess it. Violent. Violent nose picking. Uh, I would have guessed that, you're right. <laughs> See? So Carmilla shapeshifts into a giant black cat. If you were a shapeshifter, what do you think your shapeshifting spirit animal would be? Like a wolf? That's really, that's a lot cooler than my answer. Waffles, who is my cat? and my spirit animal. Your actual, and you're advertising <laughs> your cat's Instagram. Just so you know what he looks like and Can how he is. Can we blur this out? Is. What is this? I think you'd be a cat. Is that, is that a lame answer? Is that lazy? No, I, put a, cool. I put a raccoon. Oh, or a tiny or black cat. Or a tiny black cat. Oh my God, you're totally a raccoon. You know why? Because one thing that you and um, Carmilla really have in common is stealing people's food. <laughs> I may have stolen one of his Red Bulls. Uh, my only emergency There's Red Bull. a story, I didn't know it was yours, you should have labeled it, 
and it had been there for days, and I thought it was. It was in my bag. I should have labeled it. No, it wasn't. It was, it was not in your bag. <laughs> Next I, to I the intended bag. on replacing it as well. Like a raccoon intends on replacing your scraps. Well, thank you so much for being on the channel and, and playing this dumb little game with me. It was so nice to get well, to know dumb you. Dumb game is super fun. Yeah. It was really, really cool. It was super like fun. I'm just so glad that everyone at home got to know you a little better through this video. So thank, thank you, you so much me. for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and, and don't forget to check out Drop 2 of Carmilla, which is dropping next week on Thursday, September 29th. You have a favorite episode, right? I really liked episode 24. 24. Shooting it was really fun, and I think I think it's going to be a fun. I don't even remember what happens. So make sure you're subscribed so you can be one of the first people to check out Drop Two, and leave me a comment below. What was your favorite episode from Drop One? Now you've got to get back to work because you have I notes do. to make on the I, second drop. Yeah. We need to finish editing it. I am so. out of here. Yeah, get out. Ah! <laughs> oh. Hey everyone, even though we don't have a green screen studio at the moment, you can still subscribe to this channel. What's that? Yeah, I, this is also awkward for me. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. See ya!